The global magnet market is valued at over $40 billion and is expected to grow exponentially due to its use in new technologies. But how are magnets made? To find out, let's travel to China, the world's largest magnet manufacturer, and visit one of its factories. The story of magnets begins in antiquity, with the earliest records of their properties attributed to the ancient Greeks and Chinese. It is believed that around 600 BCE, the Greeks discovered a mineral rock called magnetite in the region of Magnesia, which had the ability to attract metals like iron. Meanwhile, the Chinese pioneered the use of this property for navigation, developing the first version of the compass in the first century CE. During the Middle Ages, knowledge about magnets spread across Europe, improving navigation techniques and sparking interest in studying their properties. In the 16th century, William Gilbert, a physician to Queen Elizabeth I of England, was the first to document magnetism scientifically in his work at the Magneta, where he proposed that the Earth itself was a giant magnet. The 19th century brought revolutionary advancements with scientists like Michael Faraday and James Clerk Maxwell, exploring the relationship between electricity and magnetism laying the groundwork for modern electromagnetics. These discoveries led to the development of technologies like electric generators and motors. Today, magnets are indispensable in modern technology, present in everything from electronic devices and vehicle motors to medical equipment and energy generation systems. So, how does the manufacturing process work inside magnet factories? The first step in manufacturing magnets is the rigorous selection and preparation of raw materials. As the quality and purity of these materials directly impact the magnetic properties of the final product. For neodymium magnets, the main components are neodymium, iron and boron, which combine to form an alloy known as neodymium iron boron. This alloy is highly valued for its strong magnetic properties, making it the preferred choice for applications requiring a strong and sustained magnetic field. The selection process ensures that the neodymium, a rare earth metal with high reactivity and considerable cost, is obtained with a high degree of purity. The iron used must be high quality to provide a robust framework to support the magnetic field. Boron, though used in smaller quantities, is essential for stabilizing the crystalline structure and increasing the magnet's coercivity, allowing it to retain magnetization under adverse conditions. Once selected, these elements are weighed and mixed in precise proportions to ensure consistency in the final alloy. In the production of ferrite magnets, the main ingredients are iron oxides and barium or strontium carbonates. These materials, in powder form, must be carefully selected and prepared to maintain quality. The powders are mixed in exact proportions to obtain a balanced composition that ensures the desired magnetic properties. The next step in magnet production is the melting and cooling process, which is crucial for manufacturing high-quality magnets as it determines their magnetic properties and internal structure. For neodymium magnets, the neodymium iron boron alloy is melted in an induction furnace at temperatures ranging from 1300 to 1500 degrees Celsius, ensuring that all elements mix homogeneously. However, the real difference in this process lies in the rapid cooling or solidification, which involves pouring the molten alloy onto a cold metallic surface that spins at high speed. This technique allows the alloy to cool almost instantly, forming thin sheets. This abrupt cooling is essential to prevent the formation of large crystals that could weaken the magnet's properties. In ferret magnet production, the approach is different. The mixture of iron oxides and barium or strontium carbonates is heated in a high temperature furnace, typically exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius. During this heating, the ingredients chemically combine to form a ferrous oxide with the desired magnetic properties. Unlike the rapid cooling of neodymium magnets, 
The ferrite mixture is sintered, a process where the heated powder is compacted and hardened into a solid and uniform structure. This sintering process allows individual grains to fuse and align, creating a dense and cohesive material that enhances the magnet's mechanical and magnetic consistency. Sintering not only hardens the mixture, but also promotes the formation of a uniform crystalline structure, which is crucial for ensuring that the ferret magnet has stable and predictable magnetic properties. This internal uniformity is essential for applications where reliable performance is required, such as electric motors and electronic devices. The next stage is grinding and compacting. For neodymium magnets, the solidified material from the rapid cooling process is ground in a ball mill, a specialised device where steel or ceramic spheres are used to break the alloy into extremely fine particles. This careful grinding ensures a uniform particle size, which is critical for producing a magnet with homogeneous properties. The finer the powder, the better the alignment of particles during compaction, which in turn improves the coercivity and magnetization retention. The resulting powder is placed in a mold under a strong magnetic field that orients the particles in the same direction this alignment is vital to ensure the particles are oriented along the desired magnetic axis, maximizing the magnet's performance. This well-aligned internal structure forms the basis for neodymium magnets to deliver superior performance, enabling them to generate a powerful and stable magnetic field. In ferrite magnet manufacturing, the iron oxide and carbonate powder is compacted into molds with the specific shape of the magnet. The compacting process not only moulds the material, but is also carried out under the influence of a magnetic field. This field aligns the oxide powder particles coherently, ensuring that the magnet's internal structure has a consistent magnetic orientation. Proper alignment of the particles is essential for the ferret magnet to achieve optimal density and uniform magnetic properties. Poor compaction or insufficient grinding can result in magnets with weak points, lower coercivity and uneven performance. At this stage, the magnet is formed, but a crucial step remains, heat treatment and sintering. For neodymium magnets, the compacted materials are placed in a specialised sintering furnace that can reach temperatures of up to 1000 degrees Celsius or higher. This high temperature process partially fuses the particles, eliminating interstitial spaces and consolidating the material into a solid and dense piece. Sintering not only enhances material cohesion, but also increases coercivity and magnetic remanence, essential properties for high power magnet applications. Gradual cooling after sintering stabilizes the internal structure and prevents internal stresses that could compromise the magnet's integrity. In ferret magnet production, a second sintering process occurs at even higher temperatures, close to 1,200 degrees Celsius. This high temperature is necessary to form the ceramic structure characteristic of these magnets, which provides high mechanical strength and stability. During sintering, the iron oxide and carbonate particles react to form a solid and cohesive matrix, which is the foundation of the ferret magnet's magnetic properties. This process ensures a uniform microstructure, resulting in consistent and predictable magnetic performance. Heat treatment in both types of magnets is crucial, as it optimizes the material's magnetic and physical properties. For neodymium magnets, Post-sintering heat treatments may include tempering or aging processes to further enhance coercivity and resistance to demagnetization. In ferrite magnets, cooling after sintering must also be carefully controlled to prevent cracks or deformations that could affect the magnet's performance. Once heat treatment is complete, the sintered blocks move to the cutting and machining process, a critical stage that gives them the exact shape and size required for their final application. This process uses cutting machines equipped with diamond tools or laser technology capable of cutting the hardest materials on the planet. Diamond tools allow precise cuts in neodymium magnets, which are fragile 
and can easily break if not handled carefully. Laser technology is ideal for more complex or customised cuts, offering high precision without physical contact, reducing the risk of damaging the material. Accuracy in cutting and machining is crucial, especially in demanding applications such as electric motors, generators and electronic devices. In these cases, any measurement error can affect the alignment of magnetic fields and reduce the magnet's efficiency, impacting the functionality of the device in which it is used. At this point, the sintered material has the potential to act as a magnet, but its final magnetic properties have not yet been developed. To magnetize the blocks, a strong magnetic field is applied to align the internal magnetic domains in a specific direction. This domain alignment enables the material to generate a permanent and stable magnetic field. Magnetization is performed using large copper coils that generate a high-intensity magnetic field. When the material blocks are placed inside this field, the internal magnetic domains, previously disordered, align uniformly along the applied field direction. This process ensures that the resulting magnet has consistent polarization and a strong enough magnetic field to fulfill its specific function. Since neodymium magnets are highly prone to oxidation and corrosion, the coating process is essential to ensure their longevity and functionality. Without proper protection, exposure to moisture and air can cause magnets to deteriorate quickly, compromising both their magnetic strength and structural integrity. Protective coatings of materials such as nickel, zinc or epoxy are applied to mitigate this issue. Nickel is particularly popular as it provides a robust and shiny barrier that not only protects against corrosion but also enhances the magnet's appearance. Zinc coatings offer a more economical option with good corrosion resistance, while epoxy coatings are useful in applications requiring additional protection against chemicals or especially harsh environments. Ferret magnets, due to their ceramic structure, already have natural corrosion resistance, so they do not require extensive coating. However, in certain cases, a surface finish is applied to increase durability, improve handling capabilities, or simply enhance appearance. These finishes may include a light layer of paint or varnish that contributes to general protection and reduces wear during prolonged use. Before being approved for distribution, the magnets undergo rigorous quality tests to ensure they meet technical standards and customer expectations. Their magnetic strength is measured with high precision equipment and the correct pole orientation is verified, which is crucial for high demand applications. Resistance tests to temperature and corrosion are also performed especially on neodymium magnets, to check the effectiveness of coatings and their performance in challenging environments. After passing inspection, the magnets are carefully packaged to prevent them from attracting each other or damaging other objects during transport. Non-magnetic cardboard or plastic separators and sturdy packaging are used to protect them from shocks and vibrations. This final stage ensures the magnets arrive in optimal condition to their destinations in industries such as electronics, electric motors and medical applications. And that's how magnets are made in factories. Tell me, what did you think of the process? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In the windows you'll see next there are more videos that might catch your attention. Don't miss them. See you next time.